This video is going to give you a quick summary of punching bags or heavy bags as they're often called. Now, a lot of punching bags get bought and not that many get used. People buy them online because they want to get fit like Rocky and they hang them up at home or maybe they put them in their garage and guess what happens? They don't get used very much. In fact, I'd be willing to guess that 90% of punching bags really don't get used. But you're not going to be like that because you're going to use it and follow an authentic program. But here's some things to get started with punching bags. And first thing is, well, you want to have it pretty solid. Now this is a big bag. Uh, one and a half times your body weight is a, is a rough guide. But you don't want to have it too light. If you've got them moving around, swinging around too much, then they're much harder to hit. So you want to have it solid so I can put the combinations in boom, 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 without it moving around too much. That's something that you may not get in the local sports store. Second thing, look at other options as well. I mean, here's a slightly different bag, which is, it's got a, it's got a little uh, a slope in it, so it allows you to, to throw the uppercuts, and it's a little bit of a different shape. But, um, look, I'd be, be probably focusing on, on just these ones. A couple more options, just so you know. If you've ever trained in a Thai gym, uh, Thai boxing gym, or a Muay Thai gym, you'll see, you've seen these. They're good for obviously throwing elbows in, you can throw the knees in, this is kind of high, but uh, you can throw different combinations, boom, and so on. Doesn't move around, it goes against the wall, which may suit you. Uh, what else? They're pretty good, I like them, so you could think about that. Final one, you want to keep an eye on things like crazy uh, balls, speed balls. This is a floor to ceiling ball, also called inflatables because they have a bladder inside and you want to make sure uh, you've well got a nice setup there. You're not going to be able to throw a lot of co heavy combos on it. You're going to be doing more the speed work and the slipping and weaving. Kind of fun, but are they going to get you fit forever? I'm not sure. You may want to think about getting the, the normal bag. Quick other thing, if you need a, another option, of course you've got focus pads with a partner. And finally, you have these for, with a partner. So you could get something like that as well for solid uh, impact. Obviously wearing gloves, don't punch it like I did with bare, bare hands. Use the gloves, get the gear, get fighting fit. I'm Patrick Kamorm in your corner.